So guys, I trust uh, you are doing well. Today I want to talk about theft in banks. You know me, I like saying things that I have seen with my own eyes. I don't just speak without having a proof or evidence. So, nowadays banks, they just steal from you. When you are there, you are watching until you wonder how did this really happen. Uh, something happened to me. I want to give an example using myself. What happened to me? Uh, I went to the bank to withdraw 156,000 Kenya shillings. So, at the teller, the lady keeps asking me, Oh, 156. Oh, 156. So they make you feel like now that she keeps asking me 156, 156. So you are uh, sure that they will give you what you have asked for. That they can't make a mistake because they keep asking you for it. And uh, uh, nowadays, I count with them. You know, you can't just trust those machines. I don't trust those machines, by the way, but I am told that those machines are very accurate, but I have to count with them. So when she started counting my money in that machine, I saw a hundred. I was just there, very alert. So when I saw a hundred, then she wrapped the a hundred very well and put it here on the counter. So that is what she wants to give me. So I asked her, uh, how much is this? She says 156. Yet I have seen, I have been counting with that machine. One, two, three, pack a hundred. I see the way it is counting. And she has stopped there. She's not doing anything else. So I asked her, could you please recount? Then she looked at me. Then she laughed. She put the money back to the machine. The machine counted. I told her, you see, it is a uh, hundred. Remember, I wanted 156. So then, when she counted 100 and put it now on the, the same, same money that she wanted to give me and claim that she has given me 156. So she put on the counter there. Then uh, she... Remember, even earlier, the money that had been left in that machine is still there. So she... That money it should have even been... 56,000 so that I say oh she had forgotten to give me the 56 but it is in the machine so when I after counting and it is a hundred then she puts her hand somewhere else grabs 10,000 from another drawer now puts adds on the one that was left in the machine then when she counts that money it gets to 59 so the machine counts the money gets to 59 meaning this 10,000 that she has grabbed from a drawer counted and added on top of this has made it 59. To mean it was 49 in the machine. So even if she was to give me all of it that is in the machine, she would have given me 149. Still, my money is less. So then she removed 3,000 from that 59, then it remains 56, then we count together, the machine counts after 56, then she puts the money on top of this 100. You know, all my life, I've just been going, when I want to withdraw money from the teller, I've just been going to the teller. I remove the money. I've, I'm given. It is put in the envelope. I leave. I never check. Since there is a, the first time I went to the bank to withdraw more than 100,000, the guy gave me the money. I started counting. There she, he insisted, do you want me to count again? I said, no, I have to count with manually. I have to count. I want to count one, one, one note until I get to what I want from here. So from that day, I stopped counting. I just go to the counter. They put my money in the envelope. I leave. This one, I stayed there and watched everything that the lady was doing. So number one, she has given me 100,000 and she expects me to leave. So if I took that 100, I would have just gone like that. Then I reach outside because I wanted to put it on the phone. Or I wanted to do something with it. So if I would have gone to the house, I would have reached the house and found that I have 100,000 flat. What would I have done? You go back there, they 
are different people. That money is gone like that. 56,000 with this Ruto's economy. Gone like that. What would you do? So, uh, I have been going to the bank. I'm given my money like that. I leave. I come home. I count. Then I'm like, I'm, am I confused? I thought I would do this. Am I not counting well? So sometimes I assume I have not counted well or something. Sometimes I count my money when I'm in the house. I put it in 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 thousands. Then I go to the bank to deposit. And you know when that lady will be counting, she will say, this one, this one is not 10, it is 8,000, this one is 9,000. So I'll have to either fill or just deposit the way they are less than what I was planning to deposit. Yet in the house, before I left, I have counted, me, I count my money a lot of times. I may count today, I don't go even to the bank that week. That week I count like twice, I don't go to the bank that week. The following week, I count again like twice. So when I'm also leaving, I count and I count and I count again to make sure they're in 10, 10, 10, not less than 10. But when you reach at the bank, they tell me it is this one is 7, this one is 8, this one is uh, like uh, two bunches are like 9, 9. So I have lost my money. I did not know this happened. You know, before this incident of this lady wanting to steal from me 56,000, my sister, Modesta, you know, she's she knows these things so we were just discussing things about banking and she told me that uh, cooperative bank is the worst I didn't know that me I've been praising cooperative bank if someone was to open a bank account I would tell them open cooperative account because me I have had cooperative bank account since 2002 there I think since I started putting money in the bank since 19, no, no, since 2000 and, uh, yeah, around 2002, 2003 there, that's when I started having some small, small coins and putting in the bank. So I've had Cop Bank all this time. I cannot believe they are doing this now to people. So I've been praising Cooperative Bank. So when Modesta, my sister Modesta told me, hey, those people, they are thieves. When you go to bank money with them, they count, if it's 10,000, they drop 1,000 not on the floor or 2,000 not on the floor they step on them so if they do that to all the customers during the day how much money do they get from people I'm told they even share with management because cameras are there you know me I'm, I'm like they are cameras if a, some, someone does that a, a, a cashier does that they, she's being seen there are CCTV footages everywhere so she can't do that twice, but then I was told, no, they share even with the management. So it is something that is known. So I also had went some times back to the bank to deposit, to, to withdraw some money. And I knew very well after withdrawing that amount, the money that I have to remain with would be 64000 in my account at that time. So I withdrew and me since I don't, I don't know why I don't even trust them that much. I, after withdrawing that money, I went to the ATM to check my balance. And there I find 40,000 instead of 64. So that day they stole from me 24,000 without me knowing. And I've never followed up, I've not done. So today is when I'm, it is clicking in my head also they stole from me. They have been stealing from me. So they have been stealing from many people. What I want to say is that uh, this government is terrible. Everyone has become, a th has become a thief. And this is what happens when you have criminals in power. So when uh, I can't say the president because he's not my president. Eh? When that person up there is a thief. So what do you expect from these small people? What do you expect from them? Many of them, that thief is their role model. So what he does, that is what they will do. Hmm? That leader of theirs is a thief. And you're expecting these small, small people to be saints. These small people can, cannot be saints. They'll also just be thieves and they are happy with what they are doing because they know their leader is doing it. Hmm? Their leaders are doing it. There's no one up there who is uh, 
a good person who cares about other people's things. They think they should just grab everything, grab everything. That is what everyone is doing. So we are in trouble for having a thief as the leader of a country. And that is why everyone is stealing. They like it. They feel like now, where will you take us? You go to court. The courts are just validating what they do. Mm -hmm. You say they have stolen, the courts are given some money. That's it, it's gone like this. That It's gone like that. So if they, you have been stolen from, you will be stolen from too by the courts. You will pay them small, they, you, you'll bribe so many people. And those ones, they have stolen a lot of money. They'll bribe a lot of money, then you have lost everything. You lost what they stole from you. You have lost what you were left with, and now you didn't even get justice. Mm -hmm. So Kenya, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. Me, seriously, I've lost a lot of money without knowing. I never care. You know me, I just go, I withdraw, I leave. My money is put in the envelope, I leave. Today is when I noticed what they have been doing to me. And sometimes you withdraw and you put somewhere. You know, you put somewhere, you don't check. So you will be blaming your people in the house. Ay, Kwani, my money, where did it go? Guys, be checking your money even at the counter, even after it has been counted by machines, be checking your money before you leave because if you leave go count outside come back they can't do anything in fact you will be seen like the criminal so um banks please don't steal from people you don't know what they want to do with this money what if someone wants to use this money for a funeral what if someone wants to use this money for uh, hospital bills even if it is just someone wants to use that money for drinking, it is his money. Why steal from him? And imagine the lady stealing from me today, the 56,000 shillings, is a lady who looks like uh, she, she, she drinks uh, strong tea every day. Very dry. Hmm? If you are stealing like, from me 56,000, you steal from others and steal from others, you should be having at least mafuta mafuta. Eh? You, you have skin should be at least with some oil shining but she's dry so why do you still and you are you look like kinanyans or in Luya we say kinanyans or a demon banks cooperative bank shame on you i've been your client your customer for all these years but i am not happy with you at all shame on you you have to look into this you have to help your customers they are crying it's not just me alone if I had heard about it earlier, I heard about it earlier and uh, people have been talking about it. I didn't know. I said I don't know. Now I was very careful. I was very alert and I have seen it. So Cooperative Bank, do something. Please, shame on you. And again, shame on you. And again, shame on your leaders who are uh, your role models. Sasa, see what you have put Kenya into.